Okay, here's a tutorial on where of uh, making a 2D object that you've drawn in in Corel Draw to make it 3D. Okay, uh, Corel Draw is not really uh, uh, like a software, a 3D software, but you can make it uh, 3D by using the extrude command. Okay, we're going to use extrude tool. This is the interactive extrude, uh, extrude tool. Okay. Okay, from this one, here's our objective is to make this 3D object. And if you take a look, we only need this object here to make it 3D by using the extrude tool. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, let's delete this first. We don't need that anymore. And that's our objective. Okay, we're going to use this uh, object. Okay, I won't explain more about doing this object because those are just squares and rectangles, right? So, so you click on the object. Here's what we're doing. We're going to do the top of the table first. And you go to your extrude tool. Okay. And I'll just click and drag. Okay. To click and drag. And I'm going to move this slider. That slider is the depth of the... Uh, of the object. Oh, I'll just make it this way here. Okay. Now, if I decide that this, this, see this is the vanishing point, that X in perspective, and this is the depth, that's the slider for the depth. Now, if I click on plus sign here for the preset, okay, if I click on that, it goes to this, uh, uh, this folder here vector extrude that means to say we can make that as a preset so all the objects will share the same vanishing point so I'll just type in here uh, my extrude okay you can you can name it as as any, any name that you want okay and then click on save okay so what happens there it becomes a preset okay so Say, for example, this one, I want to extrude it the same vanishing point as this one here. So I'm just going to go to my extrude tool and preset. I would see that's my extrude to uh, my extrude. That's the preset. And I just click OK. Now it shares the same vanishing point, but the thickness won't be shared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow it down with my slider. Or you can always go here. OK, so if you want to increase there. And if I decrease there, let's go to six. Okay. Now let's do the same with this one here. So I go to my extrude tool, go to my preset, my extrude. And remember this one was six for the depth. I'll just type in six here. There. Okay. So let's do this one too. Okay. So extrude. Go to my preset. There you go. Okay. Since this one, the thickness is 41. And if I click on this, the last thing I did, it's 41. So it's the same. It took the same depth, right? So I'm going to use this one. Go to my extrude again. Preset my extrude. There. So it's the same. So that's fine. Okay. Now, sometimes uh, you would... You, you come across, say, for example, this one is behind. Okay, sometimes it's the back of page like that. So what you're going to do, you're just going to adjust the, the order of objects. So, for example, this one, you have to go to arrange and order, say, to front, to front of, say, to front of this one. See? So you have to rearrange it. So now what we're going to do here is I'm just going to duplicate this plus sign again and move it down to there. Okay. A good thing to remember too that you have to have the snap to objects turned on. Okay. So I'm going to go this way. Okay. And I'm going to make this one plus sign and then move it over to there okay so
So now the next thing that I have to do is I'm going to, going to put a fill on it. So you go to your fill and you go to your texture fill dialog and uh, go to sample 8. And in sample 8, the last one is wood grain. And then click OK. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make all of this. Uh, the same fill. So you go shift, shift, shift to select, and then you go to edit, copy properties from, and you want to copy the properties of the fill of this table, you no, know, top of the table, and click OK. And there's an arrow, and then just click there. Okay, so I'm going to do it the same with this shift, shift, and then copy properties from. I'm going to copy the fill, and then click OK and click on the top of the table and there you go simple as that so that's the end of my tutorial